Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. The streak is a one off a of ten. We just did the lost. Now it's Lilith. Lilith's always a character that I struggle with, even though I don't think she's that hard and I have a mod that drastically improves her. I still find her not so easy. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. But either way, um, hello everybody. It's been a little bit since I recorded because I went home to visit my parents for the weekend. So I've not recorded in like three or four days. Three, three days? I think it's three days. Which doesn't sound like a long time to have not played Isaac, but for someone like me that plays it once or twice every day and has done for the past two and a half years, it's it's a pretty significant amount of time to not play this game. <laughs> but anyways, uh, just based on like having gone home and stuff, um, I, I I have a sort of question of the day in mind already. What's um? This is a really hard enemy to kill with uh, Lilith here. Um, what's something like? ridiculously calorie dense that you ate recently or what is something that has just been just unfathomably bad for you uh because recently i went to my like my mum works at a cafe this this is a really really frustrating enemy as well it's not it's not really the enemy it's the positioning of the enemy i could basically not hit him dude giving us some awful enemies for lilith here <laughs> um but i i went to my mum's cafe she works at a little cafe and they uh, they do cookie pie there, which is insane. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to get that in time, but whatever. Um, they do cookie pie there, and it's it's kind of insane. It's, it's it's kind of what it sounds like. It's just like a wedge of cookie, like in the shape of a pie, that is filled with like chocolate chips. This one had a Twix bar in it, and it also has like a layer of Nutella. And oh my god. Like, w me and my girlfriend shared one slice between the two of us, and it was so much. Like, so sweet and so much food. And it was only one slice that was cut in half. It just, oh my god. Like, that thing, it, like, just for the half must have been, like, nearly a thousand calories, if not more. It was amazing, but it was also kind of insane. Um, yeah, so that's definitely mine. Um, do you know, I'm not a particular fan of this item because it gets me hit a lot, but I feel like I owe it. Oh, really? You managed to steal the charge before the boss, you little shithead? Um, but I feel like with, uh, with Lilith, I can't really say no to any familiar, even one that routinely gets me hit. And to be fair, to be fair to, to this little chonky boy himself, I don't actually get hit to him that often. I'd say, uh, do you know what? I'm, I'm trying to go for a win streak here. I'm sorry, Donation Machine, but you are getting axed so that I can grab an extra soul heart. Um, it, for me, it, it, it's more so that, uh, like, it's when he, like, hits an enemy that's right next to the door. There'll be an enemy really close to the door, and he'll hit it, like, as soon as the room starts. Like, that enemy there, if he'd have hit that one, that would have probably dealt damage to me. That's where it's a real problem. Otherwise, it's not so bad. I'm trying to take out these little dudes so that my boy doesn't accidentally hit them, because I'd rather him, there you go, hit the boss. Definitely glad I bought the extra soul heart. I basically, I bought that as um, our BFF, BBF protection, uh, because he will deal damage to us at some point, and I want to have the hearts to absorb that, because I'm pretty sure he does a full heart of damage, so it's kind of one of those ones where I really need to be uh, avoiding it at all costs, but accepting of the fact that it's going to happen. This is actually pretty good milk of, of Bathomet. Um, we're going to go Dark Path here, I think. Milk of Bathomet, um, it, it's a HP up, which is pretty standard, pretty good stuff. But more importantly, um, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be good for us for uh, the on-hit on random effects. Because you can get some really good ones out of it. Also, something that, uh, that's that been happening recently. So, I've... Um, I've had my PC now, the, the PC specs that I've had. I've, I've had a, I've had it for about three and a half, four years now. And I've got a, the graphics card I've got is a um, AMD 5700 XT. And over the past like two years, I've been having some issues with it where if I'm playing a reasonably intensive game, there's like a not not super low chance that it can crash my PC. Like, it, it will literally, like, my screen will go green and then my PC will just reboot straight away. Uh, and that, that's that's been happening on, on various games for a little while now. Uh, and most of the games I've been able to just change my settings a little bit and get around it. And it, it hasn't affected every game. It's like only a few that it's affected. Modded Skyrim was one of them that, is, that it used to affect. Um... Diablo 4 was one that it affected, and most recently, it's been affecting Baldur's Gate 3, which I've been playing a lot. But, with Baldur's Gate 3, it's been doing it a lot more than normal. 
And so I've been trying to figure out what the hell the problem is, and I did some research on it. Ooh, hello. That was very lucky. I did some research on it, and it turns out that, um, unfortunately, that's just dog shit for us. Um, it turns out that this card just has that issue. This is just an issue that this card has. Like, there's a, not, not every single one of them, but, like, basically, um, there was a 1.0 version that got released and a 2.0 version. And the 1.0 version has a fault with it. Um, and this, this, this fault can cause, um, basically your, your PC to, to just crash somewhat randomly but i think it's ba it seems to be based for me at least on uh, temperatures on my pc temps um oh i'm definitely gonna get hit here aren't i oh no i'm good um and so like Baldur's gate has been a fairly intensive game and it's been getting my pc quite hot and causing these crashes and i've been searching high and low for what, what like what i can do to fix it it's been kind of a pain in the ass really turns out I went into my AMD settings, and basically my GPU's fans were just not even being remotely utilized to the fullest. Like, they were just like capped at like 60% and barely ever were, were activated. So I've tweaked them, and my PC temps are like literally, oh, really another active item? I literally insanely, insanely better. Like, the, before, when I was playing Baldur's Gate, my PC was hitting 85 degrees Celsius, um on average. Now, it's hitting about 50. It's way, way, way lower. So I'm thinking I've fixed it now, and it might also mean that uh, other games like Isaac and such run better. Rerolls items and pickups for a price may instead destroy them. I don't think we have a use for that, I'll be honest. A um, little bit annoying to get um, an active there, uh, and in our crawl space, I will say, but it is what it is. We will just deal with it. We will just deal with it. Step away from me, boy. But yeah, we do have um, we do have the the leash here for little, little Lilith. So that should hopefully alleviate some problems for us. I'll take this pill. Why not? Retrovision isn't so bad. I'll pop this. I don't actually know why I popped this. I was like, oh, it's a double sized room. I'll pop this. It's not a double sized room because these technically don't count as double sized rooms, even though they are. The game doesn't count them as double sized rooms. Only the L shaped ones or the big square ones count as double sized. So we've slightly screwed ourselves there a little bit. Bomb that. Ooh, a zealot heart. Uh, we'll obviously leave that until the end of the floor here. Oh, that was perfection itself. Honestly, having this Curse of Revival has been slightly frustrating. Um, with these enemies, they're taking forever to kill and they're reviving on the regular here. So unfortunately, we're yet again not going to have our active ready for the boss. Which is just El Clasico for me, um, apparently. Oh, okay, so this is an annoying boss, but if my BFF dude hits this thing, it will die. Okay, and no, it didn't quite die, but it got very, very close. Ah, bugger. The BFF fucking hit it. Oh, no, it didn't. I, I, there was an explosion. I saw an explosion. Either way, we get Jesus Juice here. That's good stuff. Health is looking iffy, but not terrible. Uh, the Zealot Heart is still a Soul Heart, so that helps us out with the HP situation a little bit. And we do get some Lemmageddon Wisps for carrying us down. But yeah, it's just I've just kind of baffled as to why AMD doesn't have your fans working like this as stock. Like, there was actually like a setting on my PC where my fans just wouldn't do anything at certain temperatures. Like, it wouldn't run at all. Uh, do we have Soul? I think we have Soul here. Um... Yeah, it wouldn't do anything at certain temperatures, which I think is fucking crazy. Um, I'm talking one of those broken hearts there. I can't actually remember what they do. Um, it won't actually do anything at certain temperatures. Like, well, the fans just won't be on. And I'm just like, why? Like, I, I checked online because so I was like, oh, maybe it's because, like, you don't want the fans running all the time. No, everyone says it's completely fine to have the fans running all the time. Like, like okay, then. This is... Stupid. This is a room that I want to use this in as well. Okay, so unfortunately it was Evil Eye, not uh, what, what I thought it was, which was... Uh, I th what did I think it was again? I can't remember now. Soul is what I thought it was. Always believe in your soul. You've got the power to know you're indestructible. Good. Good. I will bomb through one of these. I'd like to get some more keys. 
Uh, yeah, that was pretty worthwhile. And I got another bomb back for it, so I'll bomb this one as well. Ha ha ha, baby. Very productive for us. Dude, how did I not get hit there? I managed to get through the triple shot, then dodge this guy's launch of shots. That was kind of crazy. Right, definitely use this in here, just because this is a double room. It's well worth using them in the double rooms. Especially considering we get two BFF boys. Dude, this is kind of a horrible room, really, because we've got these spawner guys. I'm going to try and take those out straight away. Also, these little shooter boys I really hate, because they're really hard to like predict where they're going to shoot. Good, 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 good. Right, please, please don't give us a goddamn active again. We didn't get an active and we got a pretty good item out of it as well. Mum's ring. So I'm unsure how these broken hearts work. I'm going to I'm gonna go and have a little look on the wiki and see if I can find out. Because um, I still don't really know how they work. Repentance. Repentance plus, where are you? Repentance plus. See if there's any description for exactly how these work. Because I'm, I'm still unsure. Um, go read our wiki. Cool, cool, cool. Wiki. Uh, consumables it'll be in? Or is it in pick? It might, it might be in pickups actually. Pickups another. Yeah, it's in pickups. Okay. Broken heart. Broken hearts are stored in a separate slot below your actual health bar. If Isaac possesses at least one broken heart, he is able to reroll any item into another item from the current room's pool at the cost of gaining one true broken heart. This can be done by standing near the desired item for long enough and waiting for the heart rendered above it to shatter. Okay, so basically, we have we we now have a reroll, which is kind of interesting. Um, I kind of like that idea. That's 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 a much much better idea than what the broken hearts used to do. So I'm very happy to see that they've been reworked. Uh, but basically, yeah, now for for a broken heart, we're able to reroll anything we want. So if we get another active item or if we get another bad item, we can uh, we can actually use a broken heart to reroll, which I think is a pretty good trade. One one broken heart, in my opinion, isn't that big of a deal. I think. You can probably have three broken hearts on a run and it not really bother you. Um, or not really affect you that much. You know, this is another room for uh, using our active here. These are enemies with a lot of HP. But yeah, having fear shot, I don't really care about. But having the extra um, fire rate that breaks fire rate cap, I definitely do like. Do get a library here, which obviously not that interested in. But uh, there is some books that work, uh, that are passives. And there is also um thingy. Okay, so... Hmm. Kind of interesting here. So, but I can use the Satanic Bible here. I kind of do want to do that, right? We do that, and then that. Don't re-roll those, please. Actually, I, what I could do if I wanted to is, I, I could re-roll um, one of these to get Bookworm, but I don't think that's really that valuable. Both of these uh, machines I will come back for after I've beaten the boss. I don't want it to change uh, what my boss is or what my boss is rewarding me with right now. But I do kind of like the idea of those. Um, I will crack you open. Oh, secret room as well. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so this is a perfect example of them to reroll. All but all familiar that rerolls. Ooh, wait. That rerolls tears. Wacky. It's a familiar. Hmm. I'm actually kind of tempted to just take that. Okay, that's something I'll reroll. So let's take let's take this. Yeah, this could be pretty fun. And then we'll reroll this for a broken heart. Oh, we got a fucking active item. Are you kidding me? Uh I will I will use it the two times. It's actually pretty good value. I like broken hearts. Okay. I'm interested to see if this duplicates. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, but the fact that it rerolls tiers, it can be really, really wacky. I'm kind of surprised it's only tier one, to be honest, because it basically it's kind of like having um, it's kind of like having fruit cake as a familiar, like a fruit, some, something to shoot through, like a prism fruit cake, which is intriguing to me at least. And yeah, if it, if it works with that active, then it's going to be pretty goddamn good, I think. Which I, I'm pretty sure it will work with that active. Yeah, it does good. 
I'm going to be firing all sorts of wacky tears. Like, I mean, <laughs> look at this. Okay, this is really good. This is this is a lot of fun. I'm glad I took this. Um, we get ourselves a pretty goddamn good item there as well. And we can now go back and get a soul heart and a black heart from the machines that are back there, which is pretty nice. We'll go and do that. Boom, bow. I don't know if this will give us bookworm. I was just going to say, I don't think it would. Good, good, good. Right, I'm pretty happy with all of this. Um, I was going to go and maybe Emperor card out of the um, cash room, but I don't want to lose my Zealot heart. Don't want to put it on half. Yeah, I'm pretty goddamn happy with this right now. Pretty goddamn happy. Right, pop down to the next floor. Uh, see what our Lemmageddon Wisp ends up being. Hopefully it's something good. See if we can see what it actually is. Um... I can't tell what that is, I'll be honest. It's some sort of ring of some kind. Oh, wait, no, it's the one where our tears slow down in the air, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know which one. It's like cataracts or something it's called, isn't it? Uh, what the fuck? Also, I hate this dude. <clears throat> yeah, this is... This is gonna be pretty crazy. I'm really hoping this is a secret room because we can get into boss room. Ah! Bugger. It really looked like it could have been secret room. But yeah, tears slow down, but that means we can actually have our thingy pass through them multiple times, which is kind of nice. It's kind of intriguing. Good. Thank you for booming on him. Good. This is a very, very intriguing run we've got. And also, looking at our health as well, I'm very happy at the minute. Our health's in a very good spot. Ooh, we got a card out of that. Nice. Ah, oh, I thought we lost our Lemmageddon Wisp then. We didn't quite. Uh, I'm just going to pop this Emperor card now um, while we've got a charge available and so on and so forth. Uh, just so I can like pick up another card. I'm, I'm really, really just holding on to it for no reason at this point. I lost my Lemmageddon heart. It's, it's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. Oh! I got exploded by something there. I also got a bunch of soul hearts for some reason here. I don't know where they came from. Um, ooh, Job's Rags is pretty good. Have we done Mega Satan? We have not. Um, 66% boost uh, at the start of the floor will decay over 90 seconds. I think that's pretty good. Sadly, it doesn't give you the boost when you, um, when you thingy though. When you take it. Because it's only at the start of the floor. Unfortunately, we don't have our active ready for this, so it's going to take a little while. I am going to take on both the angels here, uh, just because we have them both available. It's the most ideal situation to go for them, but it's just going to take some time as all. But I'm really hoping that our um, D whatever this is. Is it a D3? I think it's a D3. Uh, it comes in clutch. Nice, that's one of them. Nice, nice, nice. Trying to shoot it through my D3 whenever I can, but not always working. My BFF has yet to hit it yet. I keep calling it BFF, BBF, whatever it is. It keeps missing by like just a hair. There you go. Oh, and it hit me. God damn you. To all that, it hit me. Wh whatever. Like I said, it's going to hit me from time to time. It is what it is. Right. Decent stuff there. And now, one thing I like about um, about doing the boss straight away is I don't feel that fear of not wanting to use my active item because I'm going to waste it. Now I'm just like, fuck it. I can just use my active whenever I want now. Where's the fuck's this other crab? There he is. But I fucking hate these crab enemies, man. Like, all, all it is is a tiny shadow. It's just not enough. It needs to be more of a visual indicator of where the hell that crab is. Good. Yeah, this is going to be an annoying room. I can't even fucking see because of the <laughs> goddamn things. World card is pretty nice here. Probably pop the world card actually. That was beautiful. Oh, dude. 
I'm taking damage I shouldn't be taking because of the shit. Hey, yet another familiar. It's a good one too. It's most certainly a good one. I like cootie and having multiple cooties. Multiple charmed enemies. Each room is pretty goddamn good, I think. Dude, Soul of Lilith. What a grab. Friendly Sack. I love Friendly Sack. Oh, this is... This run's got some schmacking stuff going on right now, I've got to say. This run has some beauty. I like this a lot. Got some wackiness. It's got some beauty. Beautiful. There you go. Let's get the hell out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Don't think we need to go to the shop, really. But yeah, good amount of familiars is always a huge positive with Lilith. And then we've got some good items to boot as well. We've got some okay damage. We've got our key created already for Mega Satan. We're good to go on that front. All coming up Millhouse right now. Oh, yes, and then we've got the Jerb fire rate boost as well. I forgot about this. It's such a huge fire rate increase as well. Like, you've got to, you've, you've definitely got to rush to make the most of it is the only sort of downside. Um, but it's not so inconceivable to, to rush around in Isaac, is it? So, Oh, that's what's going to happen, though. I'm going to be getting hit a lot because I'm rushing around too much. Oh, dude. That makes me feel a lot better about me getting hit when the game's like, here's an explosion directly on a tinted rock you didn't even see. Boy. That is what I like to see. Tell you what I don't like to see, enemies that are hidden behind rocks. That's Butt Penny, I think I'll uh, pass on that one, thank you. Uh. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Kui just, they, they both target the same enemy. I kind of expected, I kind of expected if I had two of them, the, 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 the other one would target the next lowest HP enemy, not just they both target one. So unfortunately, having two Kuis doesn't help, but it's still nice. I, don't, I keep getting hit by explosions and I'm not quite sure what they are because I keep thinking it's my BBF, but I don't think it is. Oh, dude. I mean, hit way too much at the minute. Also, I accidentally triggered the tower there. I kind of want to go to that dice room as well, but... We also all pickups in the room. Um, yeah, just do it. Go for it. <gasps> we got two soul hearts out of that. Okay, that was pretty good going. Okay, health is again becoming back to where I'm happier with it. My fire rate is um, leveled out back to normal now. You only get it for 90 seconds. It's not a, it's not a ton of time. It's enough time to do like like five or six rooms. Ah, oh, bugger. Bit of risk to this, but... Got a good amount of money out of it, so I'm not too displeased. Right. My uh, my friendly sack hasn't done much yet. It's given me a mini Isaac by the looks of it, but not much else. We're hoping for it to give us uh, like good dips. Dips are the ones you really want. And, uh, and wisps too. Money-wise, we are doing very, very well. Um, yeah, I'll do this. Unfortunately, I did get an item out of it, but it wasn't one that I was hoping for. That was a bit worth, a bit worthless. I was basically, I was like, I'll do this because I've got them. I've got my mod where you can get on hit effect items. So I'm like, I kind of pairs well with Milk of Baphomet. Sadly, we got an active item Blood Rites out of it, which is a little sad. But I put Blood Rites in the in that their uh, item pool, so who's to blame, really? <laughs> I'm the one that goddamn put it there. So who's to blame? Only I. Do we have a permanent little brimstone now? I think we do. I think we do. 
Yes, we do indeed. That's from uh, Incubus, isn't it? Of course. It's very nice to see. Right, obviously the shop is valuable for us here. Um, we'll try and find Secret Room and then come back for that. We should probably buy this first. Secret Room, how are you? I'm not entirely sure. So we found our boss, that's nice. Sack, please, thank you. Item Room will be back here, no? Maybe not. I wonder if, does Little Brim, does Little Brim get changed if we fire it through? No, it doesn't. I wonder if Little Brim got changed if we fire it through the thing, but I don't think it does. This is Necro 1. I'm going to try and get a Red Heart for my Burn Heart first. Secret Room. I'm not entirely sure right now. Is there any obvious contenders? Potentially here? Nah. I'm going to end up walking into one of these fires, aren't I, doing this? There you go, baby. Just a luck penny, nothing special, but we'll go and grab a mysterious gift now. And see what we might get in the secret room. Is there anyone that uses a mysterious gift on any other item, uh, any other, like, room type other than secret room? It's just, I feel like it's just, like, the highest likelihood of giving you something strong and fun. Like, Devil Deal and Angel Deal, y you're gonna get something good. Or you've got a good chance of getting something good. But the, the fun and rare items are always in the secret room, so it's always the best place to go for it, I think. See? Mini Bombs. I mean, we, we, for some reason, Mini Bombs keep showing up at the minute. I'm not really sure what that's about. We've just been getting them, like, a lot. But they're not... I'm I, there's, there's, there's not no part of me that is upset about that. The only problem is, obviously, as we've seen before, it can affect um, troll bombs and make them into uh, giga bombs. So you've got to be a little cautious around that when that happens. Uh, but otherwise, it's not like that big a deal. Right, let's go and do um, go and do this this big old room and get whatever's in our item room, which will definitely be another familiar. Oh, that keeper! I spawned a penny off that keeper and then hit him, and then he uh, he uh, stole the penny. One second, I'm just itching my back. Do you know what? Actually, I'm gonna put my fan on real quick and open my window because I just realised I've just got in and I've not done that yet. One sec. Ugh. It's rather sweaty in here, so I do apologise if you can now hear my fan going off. But the weather in the UK at the minute, or at least the temperature in the UK at the minute, calls for it, so. It is what it is. Okay, here we go. Cootie, are you really helping with this guy? And then in here. So this is this is kind of intriguing. <laughs> so this is actually very intriguing. So we have more options, which gives us a choice of things that spawn on the floor, but some options is basically the same version. Is is it's like the same thing. So, basically, whenever something drops out of a room now, there's going to be quite a few multiple versions for us to choose from of things that we take, which is going to be kind of odd. I've never had these two at the same time before, so I'm kind of intrigued to see how this ends up working out for us. Right, let's go for our boss. Remember, we can use a bomb to do a pretty considerable amount of damage early uh, doors when, it, when it's a boss fight, depending on what boss it might be. Uh, like, this boss is useless to use against... Uh, Beautiful. Oh, it works with pennies as well. Intriguing. Works with, like, penny spots. It's not just room clear rewards. Good, good. You can see as well that my little brimstones um, are getting the b the benefit from my... Uh, from my... Keeper's Head item, that's because of the mod that I'm using, that was not created by me, but was conceived by me. Um, created by Prian uh, on my request. Basically, it adds all of our tier effects to um, Lilith, because I think that's fun. I think Lilith is a fairly weak character and not very unique. Um, 
and I think this adds th this adds so much more importance to uh, familiars. Because Brother Bobby is now actually pretty fucking good as this character because you can get Brother Bobby firing your tier effects, which I think is pretty awesome. I think it just it, it makes it makes her definitely a lot more powerful, but it also makes her a lot more interesting, I think. What the hell is this dice that's chasing us around? What the hell? There's like a dice shot that was like bumbling about behind us there. You see this? There's like so much shit spawning. <laughs> this is so weird. Hi Priestess. Probably just want the strength card for now. There's just so much going on on screen right now. It's kind of hard to follow. Um, by the soul heart. I don't think at this point restock is really that valuable for us. It's a little bit late. I, I could have bought restock and then um, bought a few soul hearts. That probably would have been a half decent play. Half decent play. But I don't really need that many. So, so it's not super necessary. And you can see the wacky stuff that we've got going on with this. It's... It's quite intriguing. This is this is a very uh, very strange run. Wow. Okay. Like when it, when we room clear, three things spawn. Oh, that's ah, oh, that's interesting though. So three things spawn, but if we take the wooden one first, we still get to take the other option. That that's pretty goddamn useful to know. So basically, all of our rooms are going to give us extra stuff now. Kind of forgot we we're getting a giga bomb there. Hey, a luck upgrade one. It's fairly nice for one of them. We've not seen our item room as of yet. We've got a, a thingy here, arcade, that could be good. We do have a claw game. Um, this is our last floor where we need money, so let's just play the claw game. Not that I want the D4, but whatever's underneath it could be good. Nope, it's just two active items that I don't want. But I don't really need my money, so... It's fine by me. It's fine by me. Yeah, we take that and then that. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Extra range. Hey, we got a Clotty. Clotty is by far the best thing you can get from Friendly Sack. Clotties obviously do like... Is it like 30% of your damage or something? I can't remember how much it is, but it's still firing our tears. Which is pretty mint. There's some good old pennies. Ooh, angel disc. I guess I'll uh, take that with me rather than the strength card. I think that's a little bit better for us, wouldn't you say? Good. Oh my god, we're getting so much shit on room clear. It's insane. Give me a tower card, you bastard. Consumables galore right now. Item room, where art thou? There you go. This is a very powerful room. And we get this as well. Damage for every enemy alive in the room. Um, caps at seven enemies. Really, really, really nice. Basically, it's kind of like the opposite of uh, Bloody Lust, where the more kills you get in a room, the more damage you get. Instead, the more enemies alive, the more damage we get. It's pretty good, especially with it being 0 0.7 per enemy. Um, that's, that's a pretty hefty amount. We can almost double our damage at max. I think it's pretty tight. Right, take our angel disc. In fact, uh, let's use our angel disc now. Angel disc. Then go straight for the boss. We'll get to use, utilize our angel disc here. And we've got the high priestess for a future boss. Good. 
Oh, we got a holy burning out of our friendly sack. That's pretty good. Um, we're going for the negative here. That's good because we need damage. And this is kind of tricky. I think we take the, the cherub boy because it's a familiar. But obviously, um, Glyph of Balance is really powerful too. But Gly Glyph of Balance, you kind of have to game. You have to play it right to get the right rewards. So it's a little bit too much thinking on a run that's this uh, chaotic. Um, whereas, yeah, our cherub buddy, he's just going to... Do some really good damage and just be chilling with us. Oh, this is this. I was like, what the hell's going on with this room? This room isn't actually uh, one that I need to pay attention to. He's looking for items, really. Yes! That's what I'm looking for. Not only is it an item, but it's a goddamn amazing item. Since when did we get up to 25 damage? Where did that come from? Ow. Like we're on 25 damage now. What? what? Okay, there you go. We, we lost 11 there. Oh, dude. This uh, this superiority item is, seems to be really goddamn good. I'm getting a lot more damage than I thought I would out of it. Only in some rooms, though. So maybe, maybe it isn't that. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not really that worried about pickups at this point. I've basically got everything I need. I'm getting hit a lot. I don't really know what's happening. Just ignore it all. I don't like the fact that my Bernie is controlled by me. He's just like firing at nothing. I'd rather the AI control him. He's a he's a friend finder uh, enemy, that's why. And they just kind of suck when they're from friend finder cuz yeah, I don't I don't want to be in charge of where he's shooting. Good. I mean, we're getting a good smattering of fire everywhere. I mean, that's nice. But still, I'd rather the game just do it itself. Didn't mean to use a Gigabomb there. I keep forgetting that I've got Gigabombs going. Right. Hey, we made it straight to the boss. Good, good. Our fire rate is still just leveling out again. Still been going down, look. It's just about to level out. But we did this entire floor in like 90 seconds, which is pretty awesome. Right, there you go. Got him deaded. The double trouble ain't no problem for me. I'm actually pretty happy with the HP up right now, to be honest. It's been a pretty speedy run, I'd say. I think it's just because we, we we haven't got any crazy tier effects going on for our familiars, but we've gotten a lot of familiars. Like, the amount of familiars and the quality of said familiars we've got have been very good. The fact that we got a soul of Lilith that gave us friendly sack is pretty incredible. Like I said, I love friendly sack. I think it's a really good item. The fact that they can give you clots, I think, is, is kind of insane. I'm just coin pass. I really don't care about that. I'm sorry. Like I said, I am ignoring a lot of pickups right now, but we just don't need them. I've been hit quite a bit. I kind of want my Bernie guy to die. He's just getting on my nerves. Like, the, the noise he makes every time he hits the block. It's fucking... It's really annoying. And he's not contributing anything to most of the rooms. He's just being a nuisance. Can you, can you like... I can't even control where he walks, I don't think. Oh, I can kind of. I have some sort of contributing factor. Ooh, a, a run reroll. I have to say, there's a big part of me that says, go for it, you s sick fuck. But <laughs> a bigger part than me that says, hell to the no thank you. Ah, fuck it. I got damaged trying to fucking get my Bernie guy killed. He'll, he'll hopefully die to whatever boss we get here. Oh, there's a fly there. Fuck's sake.
Should go back and get that half red heart just in case. Ah, oh, it's on a it's on an island. I don't care then. Yeah, I want him to just die because he's, he's bloody annoying me. Don't kill him before he kills my Bernie dude. Oh, my Bernie dude's taking like no damage to that guy. Great. Okay. Again, another room where I'm unable to kill my Bernie dude. Just someone kill this thing. It's really annoying me. Somebody kill this sick bastard. I can't, I can't even move him irrespective of myself. Like, he, he has to move when I move. He's so low. Let him die. Give him, give him the peace he needs. Oh god, I hate this. He's dead. Finally. I could finally hear normally and not just have to listen to that goddamn sound all the time. Oh, God. Curse of the Tower with Gigabombs. <clears throat> that wasn't pleasant. Okay. We are going down, right? Yes, we took the negative. Good, good, good. Okay. Health-wise, we're looking okay, I think. I think we should be pretty set for just getting through this. We did get another friend here, but luckily it's not one that's super annoying this time. What's the best way to go about this? Okay, it seems like just running through it all worked pretty well, actually. Oh, the fear. The fear lasts so long as well. Hit by the fear almost instantly. Unfortunately, yet again, this guy hits me so goddamn often. Hey, you can't survive the foot though, can you? Unfortunately, Horror Babylon is almost useless for us because uh, there's no way we're going to get rid of all these red hearts. But thank you nonetheless. Um, probably would have preferred just getting a black heart off of you like you normally give me. Oh, whoa. Enemy's invisible. I didn't realize I could make Grimaces invisible, too. I really like that enemy that makes things invisible. Bag of trash, another familiar. Not what I was expecting to get off of him. Kind of rude for him to just give me a bag of trash, to be honest. But it's a familiar, so I shall accept. Don't like all these fortunes we're getting, that's making things slightly more troublesome. Cootie, do your thing. Good, 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 good. Okay, not exactly sure how this is going to work. I don't think it's going to be too bad though. Okay, yeah, this was fine. Oh, we got breakfast. Where the fuck did breakfast come from? Again, I'll take it, but no idea where that came from. There's so much going on in this room right now. What the hell? I can't fucking see! He's got damn shots that fire fortunes. Pain in the ass. Oh, turn into gold straight away. Dude, yeah, the fortune shots need to go. I don't want these being part of my other items. As items themselves, it's fine, but when they inter interfere with my other items, I'm mad. How is this thing not dead yet? I've been firing it for ages. Damn soul is pretty good, but the leash, the leash is king. Not quite sure what happened there.
anyhow. Three, two, one. Again, I keep forgetting I've got Giga Bombs. I mean, luckily this was helpful, but still. J just too many fortunes, man. I can't fucking see. Okay. Just about got through that one. On to the last floor. Health isn't ideal. Serpent's Kiss. Oh, I was going to say very nice. It's actually nowhere near as good as it used to be, is it? Dog head. Pin shot's nice. Multidimensional baby is... Pr I'm going to take multidimensional baby. Multidimensional baby is pretty good. I know I was just saying I'm worrying about my HP, but... That familiar, especially when duplicated, is going to be really good. That gives us Bookworm. That's rather nice. What the fuck? Hierophon, oh my god. And a Burnheart here as well. That was a very successful room for us in terms of HP. Very, very nice. Gotta love it. Hopefully, because of this whole mess with the, the amount of things that drop, we should get quite a few chests here. How is this enemies alive in this room? God damn. Dude! There's just get more and more enemies keep getting created out of nowhere. Stop. Holy hell, that room was like a never-ending cycle. Good. That is a heart cluster, which is not something we need right now. But actually, to be fair, I could have taken that for the single red heart I'm missing. But there's a half red heart here anyways. These goddamn things. Chase you. Yep. I get hit by those enemies all the goddamn time. Soul heart, lovely. Our money has skyrocketed as well, not like we need it, but still. Oop, there's a heart in there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah, ah! How the fuck did I not get hit then? Goddamn. Room kinda spooky. Unfortunately, I've gone all the wrong ways, but saying that, I have gained a significant amount of health doing so. But really, who's who's winning? Because it seems to be me. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you're invincible. That's original. Oh, it's you again. Wowee. Item there for us, thank you. Oh, dude, I'm getting hit some real stupid shit right now. Strength card's lovely, I'll take that. What the fuck? That's it, Mario doesn't understand you. Fair enough. Maybe he doesn't. Boss room, where art thou? It's been too long. Slightly hellish room here. Kind of interestingly enough, I could farm infinite money off of these enemies in a room like this. Just don't kill the enemy that's required to kill. And keep shooting at the little dudes. Ooh, we got a soiled heart there. 
Don't know how valuable that'll end up being before we get to the boss, but it's here now, so why not try it? Still love how awesome Mr. Fred is now. Right, boss should be literally a few rooms away at this point. <clears throat> Not like that guy that was meant to be invis invincible just got turned into a poop instantly. I like that. Right, here we go. Have to deal with a schmuck. I'm literally not even paying attention to the Bernie guys at the moment. They'll die when they die. Right, boss time. Don't use our active here. We want to save the active for Mega Satan. We can definitely kill this guy fairly comfortably without using our active. Unfortunately, we can't keep our burn heart alive without using our active. I was hoping we would be able to, but sadly not. Okay, we lost a lot of health to this guy. And it is what it is, but... Hey, her. Hey, you give us a black heart in return. I've got to say, I respect that. Okay. It's time for Mega Satan. We have a strength card to go in there with. We have 25 Gigabombs if we wish to use them. We do have a secret disc here. Um... I'm not going to use the secret disc because I'm fairly sure there's a few items that could mess us up pretty heavily in the secret disc pool. Like, I'm not sure what happens if we get missing nerf, for example. Will that just re-roll us instantly? Because it might. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, let's get in there and do our boss. Strength card popped for the extra damage. Pop this bad boy. And just start wailing on this fool. Good thing is, there is potential for us getting HP here because of these uh, wooden items. The wooden items can contain hearts and pills and cards. The only thing is, the ridiculous amount of fortunes that keep coming out. The, the thing for me is, I don't have one of the items that produces fortunes. It's because of the shots that are coming out of my D3. But it's still way too common. Like, how is it this common that we're getting uh, fortune shots? It's crazy. They're, they're way too common. Another Soul of Lilith. That is uh, marvellous. Dry Baby is actually pretty good as well. And that gi uh, gives us Conjoined too, which is nice. Blank Rune. Gives us Anzus. We do have a Demon Baby now as well from getting hit. Um, that's nice. But yeah, we shouldn't be getting this many um, thingy shots. They're way too common. I know there's not much the developers can do about it, but it's still annoying. That's just a key. I'm looking for cards, really. Things that we can use to bolster our damage. So, uh, unfortunately, I keep accidentally picking up the coins that are attached to the wooden items and not getting the wooden items. Which, yeah, it's a little, little annoying, but it is what it is. All right, boss man. I felt like this was a really quick run, but we've been playing for 53 minutes. God damn. I think it's just one of those ones where, because I haven't, haven't played Isaac in a while, it's like feeling like it was a lot more than it was. Not like this situation. This attack is horrible. I hate this. Yeah, this is so hard to avoid. Can you stop doing this attack, please? There you go. There's a mini battery there. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's still shots on the screen from your other attack, dude. And there's still literally a thousand goddamn stupid ass... Fortunes on my screen. I'm hating the fortunes, man. I, I keep banging on about it, but I'll never let up. Right, don't matter. We got him. I'm not going to do Mega Satan because my health has gotten too low, even if we get off... Uh, not Mega Satan. Delirium. Even if we get offered it, which we did. Uh, but my health is just really low right now, and I'm not feeling particularly confident, so I'm just going to 
end off the run here and keep our streak alive. I hope you guys enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.